Hey everyone, in this video we are talking about compounding interest and specifically how logarithms can be helpful when you're solving questions with compounding interest. So I've written the formula A equals P in brackets 1 plus I over N to the exponent of N times T. This might look a little bit different than the formula that you've seen. I just write the formula this way because this is what makes sense to me. So let's go through. I'll tell you what all the variables stand for. And the first variable A, that is how much money you have in the bank, let's say after 10 years of 10% interest compounded semi-annually. It's how much you end up with. P is the amount of money you started with. So you put $100 in the bank. 1 is just 1 plus I is the interest rate. It has to be written as a decimal. If you have 10% interest, you need to write it as 0 0.1. If you have 5% interest, you need to write it as 0 0.05. N is, I have two N's, and you put in the same number for each of those N's. It's the number of times your interest is compounded each year. So if you have interest compounded annually, that would just be once a year, so n would be equal to 1. If you have interest compounded semi-annually, that would mean your interest is calculated twice a year, so n would be 2. If it was quarterly interest, that would be n would be equal to 4. t is equal to the number of years your money is in the bank. So if it's in the bank for 25 years, t would just be 25. Let's do an example and I will show you how to use the formula and we'll do a question where we need to use some logs and laws of logarithms to get the right answer. So we have, let's say we have $1,500 in the bank and our money is going to double. If I start with $1,500, the amount I'll have after it doubles would be $3,000. We want to find out what is the interest rate, so I'll just leave I alone for right now, we don't know what that is. What interest rate causes our money to double if interest is compounded quarterly over, let's say, five years? So the first thing we can do is divide both sides by 1500. 3,000 divided by 1,500 would be 2. Those will cancel out, and I'll be left with 1 plus i over 4 to the exponent of 4 times 5 would be 20. Okay, so now I need to use one of my laws of logarithms. I'm going to use the power rule, and I'm going to take the log of both sides, the so log of 2. If you don't see me write the base of my log, just assume it's base 10. The base 10 is what your calculator does, so you should always work in base 10 if you can. The power rule says that the exponent will actually come in front of our log. So I'll have 20 log of 1 plus i over 4. So what I'm going to do is divide both sides by 20 so that these will cancel out, and I'll just be left with the log of something on this side and some decimal on this side. And I'm just going to type in my calculator log 2 divided by 20 and I get 0 0.015 and it's got a couple more decimals but we'll just round it to 0 0.015 and that is equal to the log of 1 plus i over 4. Let's assume this is log 10. We are going to go 10 to the exponent of 0 0.015 equals this stuff in brackets. 10 to the 0 0.015 equals 1 plus i over 4. 10 to the exponent of 0 0.015, I get that's equal to 1.035. 1.035. And I would say keep at least three or four numbers after the decimal so that you don't get too much rounding error. And that is equal to 1 plus i over 4. I can drop my brackets because I'm not multiplying 
any number or anything on the outside of my brackets. To get rid of this 1, I'll just subtract 1 from both sides. 1.035 minus 1 would be 0 0.035 equals, I'll just be left with i over 4 on this side. So the opposite of dividing by 4 would be to multiply by 4. So I'll multiply both sides by 4. And when I do that, I get 0 0.1406 is equal to i. So most people prefer to see interest written as a percent, so you should always make an effort to convert it back to percents. To do that, all you need to do is multiply by 100, and you'll get 14.06% equals i. So you would need an interest rate of 14.06% for your money to double if it's compounded quarterly over five years.